with P92-1's Mikey and the Mrs. Show. It's a wake-up Wednesday. It sure is. You know, that means it's time to gather around all your friends, your family, your visiting teachers, and a couple of people that you've never met before, but they look nice enough to have in your living room and play the game that's sweeping the nation. In the studio today, we have Sean Denovan. I am blessed to be here. Thank you. <laughs> Hashtag Tender Mercies. He is here from my alma mater, Utah Tech. And here is also Bonnie. <gasps> Don't be stressing. You're a blessing. <laughs> it's fun to quote things that you get off magnets at five below. And then there's me. <laughs> You know how this works. I tell you a completely real news story, and by the end of the story, you must decide whether the subject was drunk, high, or crazy. Is everybody ready to play? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Hmm? Okay, now I am. Go. Now yes. All right. Here is the story. It was a quiet evening on the Kansas freeway. A woman was driving overnight to visit family the next day. While listening to Kenny Rogers and minding her own darn business... She pulled up behind a large semi-truck. On the back of the truck, she saw the legs of a mannequin. She thought, cool Halloween decoration, and she turned on her brights to get a closer look. That's when she realized it was not a mannequin, but an actual man. (gasps) He was standing on the back step and holding on to the truck for dear life. (laughs) When she looked in his face, he gave an expression as if to say, hello, please call someone. I've made a huge mistake. Apparently, the man had hopped onto the back of the tractor trailer at a gas station on an impulse and was now headed down the freeway at over 70 miles per hour with no way to get off. The woman called 911, and within a few minutes, Highway Patrol pulled over the truck. When the man stepped off the truck with shaky knees, they found out that he had been riding on the back of the truck for... It's time for a game! What? How long was this guy hanging on to the back of the truck? In miles. Whoever can guess how many miles he went on the back of a truck without without going over over is the winner. I'm going to say 19 miles. 19 miles. What do you think? I'm going to guess somewhere in the 20s. (laughs) 22.3. 22.3 miles. Mile markers tell you where you're at. Okay. All right. Correct answer is he was on the back of that truck for 130 no miles. 130 wait, miles. Wait, I wow. want to change mine to kilometers because that's 130 <laughs> miles, right? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that checks you, out. You still win. Uh-huh, sure. So you've got the extra point going back to the story. He was hanging on to that truck for 130 miles. That's over two hours on the back of a truck in the middle of the night. No, it's not. Have you have you followed a truck through the gorge? That's at least four and a half hours. Yeah, at least. When police asked him what he was doing on the back of a truck, he responded that he was, quote, looking for his wife. Of course, a quick search revealed he didn't have a wife, but he did have a former landlord. And when they asked him about the arrest, the former landlord said, quote, yep, sounds like him. He's the worst. Wow. He was booked in the county jail on a slew of charges that included joyriding. However, he pleaded not guilty to joyriding because, quote, there wasn't that much joy. <laughs> what we do know is this. If you're looking for a wife, try Tinder or truckersonly.com. Mm. But what we don't know is what made this guy bum a ride in the first place. Was our hitchhiking homeboy drunk, high, or crazy. So many options. Same three options that have always been there. <laughs> so who goes first? Uh, go you, for you it. Go uh, you're our first. guest. Oh, you my go gosh. ahead. I'm the guest? Yep. Oh my God. Where's my. Where, do you have to have the special cake for the guest? We have a ch- uh, carcuterie board. <laughs> carcuterie? <laughs> what? I'm not going to ask. Did you say right. that wrong? I don't know. I'm Walmart. I don't know nothing. What do they call you? The uh, John Favreau Ma- Walmart? Yes, Walmart John Favreau. That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to go with drunk. Drunk. Drunk because after 100 miles, he's finally sobered up. And he's realized, he's where like, am oh, I? no, what have I done? <laughs> he's like, he's uh, already taken a leak off the back. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with <laughs> crazy.
crazy, crazy because the landlord said, yeah, he's the worst. So, so I'm guessing it's okay. just like a common thing he does. Okay. <laughs> crazy stuff. One of you is right. The guy who was just on the back of a truck, went for 130 miles for over two hours, was in fact... <gasps> Drunk as a skunk. Booyah! <laughs> he was completely plastered. I would love to see a drunk skunk. <laughs> he's just hanging out at like the at the wow. flying J and he sees a truck and he's like, I'm doing this. <laughs> just ran and jumped on. It's wow. Funny. You tell this story, it reminds me of a time on my mission when <laughs> When you jumped oh, on the back, got <laughs> drunk and jumped on a truck. <laughs> Listen, kids. Spend your P-Day more wisely than Elder <laughs> Denovan did. <laughs> Otherwise, you might wind up on an episode of... Drunk High or Crazy! Stay right there. Hey, hey. More of B-92-1's Mikey and the Mrs. Show is on the way.